In this video, I'm going to be negotiating a creative real estate deal on a multifamily property. That's right. This guy owns a fourplex. I believe he lives in one of them, but he's renting out the other ones. There's two bedrooms, one bathrooms each, right? I want to buy this property subject to the existing financing. That means I don't want to go get a new loan and, and cash him out and buy the property. What do I want to do? I want to take over his current mortgage payments. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to learn, I have to, I have to use the magic words. So right now I'm going to show you how this lead came in. You're going to see how it shows up in my system. You'll see uh, the website that we use to process these things. And further, why right now is the best time to be in real estate? Because of all those people that thought they could buy a piece of real estate with low interest rates from 2019 until 2022, now they might have bit off a little bit more than they can choose so they have to transfer that wealth transfer those assets over to people like us that can actually manage these things we've set up because we've been doing this since 2004 so come along let's take a, take a ride with me and see if we can negotiate this killer creative real estate deal with this homeowner on a multi-family building let's do it Okay, class, it's Chris Haskins with TheRealEstateRoundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. So right now is the time, y'all. Right now, we must understand creative real estate financing if you want to build your portfolio. So let's take a look at this lead that it came in the other day. Uh, this guy, Brother Hernandez, I'm going to put his first name. He owns, he owns this property here. This is the loan balance, what's his, how much he owes on it. His monthly payment is roughly 3000 He says he wants to sell. Call him back. He's available after two. So this is how the leads come into my system. Now, uh, the website that we use, we've built it out. Uh, you can just pay. I pay $99 a month, and it goes, it's carrot. It goes right on the Internet, and it has all the stuff that your homeowners will see for them to contact you to possibly give you a deal. And if you need a website that's already built out, that link is in the video description. All right. There's a bunch of links, links down there. So when I type this property to prop stream, this is, this is what comes up. Okay. Let's look. So look at that first. This is what, oh, this is what prop stream shows us the property details here. I see he's owned this property for one year and 11 months. So let's just say 12, 12 months. I'm sorry, let's just say two years, all right? Now it's weird because this one, he didn't say this, but this is a fourplex property. You can take a look here and see what the, what the property looks like. It's a fourplex. That means it's got four doors and each one of them are two bedrooms, one bath. And he said he's only getting $850 rent for these, which is extremely low. I know this part of Norfolk, Virginia is not the most desirable part of town. Further, it's a crime over there, a lot of foot traffic. In the past, maybe it's getting better now, but a two bedroom in Norfolk should easily be twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. So I don't know why these rents are so low. Maybe he'll let us know. But what we can do next is look at our mortgage transaction. So he bought it two years ago, which means there was a low interest rate, right? But I want to verify it so you can see this right here. Look, loan, December 21st. It was a VA loan, Tower to Mortgage, loan amount $368. Here we go, y'all. Here's the kicker. 3.8% fixed rate, y'all. 3.8%. I need you guys to understand this. This is why it's the time right now to get in there. All those loans, we can come in and just take over those payments and build our portfolio. Okay, so you got to understand the strategy. It's called subject to. If you don't know the strategy, there's a link in the video description. I got a full training. Eight hours me teaching you how to do this stuff. You got to learn these things. How do you find this stuff? You got to have a geek squad. Once again, there's a link in the video description to help you with that. So let's uh, let's call the seller and see if we can negotiate a phenomenal deal with this with this guy. I don't know. Is this something I even want to do? Let's see. He owes 300 and looks like his mortgage is $360,000. We shall see. Let's see what his payment is. So let's give him a call. All right, let's see what, what has at Finner Street. Finner Street. We got Finner Street. Hello. Hey, it's Chris Haskins. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, brother. Um, we've 
record all of our conversations for training purposes. I see you got Fender Street. Yes, that's mine. Yeah, cool. How can I help you today, buddy? Uh, I was, uh, so I'm interested in selling it. What up, Roundup family? I hope you are enjoying your holiday. So listen, it's your boy Chris Haskins, and if you've ever thought about getting involved with real estate, but you just didn't know how or where to get the money, I'm having my Black Friday special right now. I'm gonna show you how to get your rent, get your rent on time every month. You don't have to worry about bad tenants, how to actually buy real estate without having to go to the bank, how to sell real estate on lease options. I'm gonna show you how to raise private money. You're gonna get all of my training for one low price just for this black friday special so click somewhere it's going to be below up down i'm not sure where it is get your train on this is only going to be for a few days so i look forward to seeing you on the other side get all my stuff get out there make money do you own all of them or you just own unit number two no the the whole building the four units all right cool tell me what's going on uh Hold on, give me a sec. Uh, I'm just interested in moving on from it. All right. Well, it looks like you just bought it. What happened? Uh, it's just uh, not the, the direction I want to go. Not the direction you want to go regarding what? Uh, just uh, just owning it, I guess. All right. I know that area over there could be a little challenging. Tell me what's going on, buddy. I'm just trying to get the story from you. People don't just show up and say, I'm going to sell a property without giving it some thought. It's just uh, there's some other stuff I want to do in life, and it's just taking a lot of uh, my time and time and uh, you know time and stuff. All right. Well, what is it? T- what is, what's it, when you say it's taking a lot of time? I'm, I'm just trying to understand what the whole story, Josh. I'm not. You, would you care sharing with me what time is it taking? That why? <laughs> uh, it's mostly like just uh, like worrying about the place and make sure everything's good with it and stuff. No doubt yeah. you got tenants too to deal with every day, correct? Yes, I got property I got property management for that, but it's still like you know, just worrying about the place and stuff. Yeah. Is it fully occupied right now? Uh right now two of the just two of them. So I live in one and then there's two people living in the other units and then I have one vacant one. Okay. How long has that one been vacant? Uh, they just went vacant. Okay. Why'd they move? Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to property management yet about it. Oh, okay. Cool. I think they're just just moving somewhere else. I got it. That's cool. Let me see history here. Looks like it's a cool building. I'm I'm sure the area has its challenges over there. I mean, just people foot a lot of foot traffic over there. What type of uh, are are all the major systems working? Central heating in there? No, there's no central heating area. What type? It's uh, so each room has its own heater. Oh, it's got it. Okay, cool. One of those uh, uh, wall heaters that are at the bottom, like towards the floor. Yeah. So what did you have in mind? Are you just looking to get debt relief or are you trying to profit on it? What are you thinking? Uh, I think I got about, I was trying to get somewhere around three three seventy five for it. All right. So basically you're trying to just get out from under the debt. Yeah. So you owe three fifty eight on it. Well, I don't mind taking a look at it, Josh. Dealing with, tell me about the rent. What what are they renting for? It's two bedrooms, one bath each, correct? Yes. What are they renting for? Uh, one unit is eight fifty, and the other the other two were seven fifty. Okay. Yeah, that's man. It's gonna be hard to make that thing cash flow. So eight times four. So right now, shit, you losing money on this deal. Well, let me ask you, Joshua, are you losing money on this deal right now? Uh, the payment yeah. is 3000 a month. And I'm not judging you, Joshua. I just have to get a full picture of what's going on so I can help you the best. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, brother. You sound like you're a young man and you'd probably bit off more than you can chew dealing with this. these reals, these, these... Anyway, okay. So... Being that you owe so much on it, so you're, let me make sure I understand correct. I'm going to repeat what I'm hearing you say. Is that all right? Yeah. So you're looking to, you owe 358, you want 375, you're looking to get roughly 15,000 in your pocket. Is that where you're at? Uh, well, I don't really 
care about the profit. I was just trying to, I said 375 that way, you know, kind of work the way down if I need to. Well, I'm saying 375 minus 358 is roughly 15,000, my friend. So um, once the loan is paid off, you're trying to walk away with 15,000 in your pocket or you just want to get the loan paid off? What, what are you want to do, wanting to do? I'm mainly focused on getting the loan paid off. I only said uh, the 375, that way if I needed to negotiate my way down. So we're looking for debt relief for you. Yes. I got it, brother. Okay, now I'm, I'm trying to see. I got some boxes to fill in here. See, the problem is that property won't cash flow at that price. Are you with me? Yep. So 800, even if we had a complete occupancy, it's only going to make 3200. Why do you think the rents over there are only 800 bucks? Well, the two bedrooms are going for 1200 in other areas, not this area. Uh, I don't know. These tenants, they've been living in there a while. How long have they so been there? They were here before I was here. They, but, yeah. So it was just uh, maintaining their leases and stuff. All right. Well, you barely, you've barely been there two years. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. It's going to be hard to make this deal work. All right. It's going to be hard to make that one work. So 32, let me just look here. You got 32, no, the payment's 2,900, correct? Uh, yes, that's what I'm paying. It was supposed to be around 2,300, but there was a problem with the insurance and for some reason increased my escrow, but I have insurance, so I don't know why they haven't brought it back down. Well, let me take a look at all that. Let me ask you, Joshua, are you open? And I'm not saying we can do this, all right? I'm just going to ask you because there's no equity here on this deal at all. We may be able to do something we call our LAP program, but I don't know if we can do it until we take a picture of all you got going on with that loan, with the loan payments. So, do you think the payment might go down after you get the escrow analysis again? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to contact the mortgage company. We have ways we can do that too. But yeah, I'm paying 2900 but it's supposed to be around like 22 2300 Yeah, we got to look into that. Well, um, if you're interested, in, I can tell you a little bit about how the LAP program works. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so basically what we do, we have to come in, look at the condition of the property. I'm presuming that all the heat and all the, does it have window units for the air conditioning? Uh, no, there's no window units. Do, do the tenants put their own units in there or something? Uh, no, none of them put their own units. Well, what did they do for air in the summertime, brother? Well, I guess they just have fans and stuff. I <laughs> did but what did you do in the summer? What did you do? Uh, we have a, so there's a central, well, not that central, but there's an AC unit in the living room for all of them. Oh, it's, okay, the units come with air conditioning, but it's got, okay, the unit has air conditioning and heat in the wall. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, so our LAP program is our loan assignment program. The only way being that there's no equity I'm not able to go out and get a new loan, but however, I might be able to come in and take over your mortgage payments at after we look at the property, and we might be able to get you some cash in your pocket to move on, maybe. But I have to look at the whole, the, all the, all the, um, the mortgage to see what's going on with those escrow payments. Okay. Is that something that you're at least open to, or this is a no deal for you? Uh, how would that work? That would. So I'm gonna so, make sure. Go ahead, brother. So you would just take over the mortgage, but it would be the payments that it is right now. Well, I don't know what the payments are. I can't even say I can take over the mortgage payments yet until I know what's going on with this escrow. No reason you should okay. be at. I mean, twenty nine hundred. Even if we took over your payments now, I can't cash flow it. Like even if I had one hundred percent occupancy, I can't make any money. However, yeah. if we can find out, say there's a $5,000, sometimes they raise the taxes 
and they forget to change the payment. So a year will go by and then they'll say you got $600 a month in taxes until you pay it back. Real estate taxes. You with me? Yeah. So that sometimes they'll do that. So let's just say, say let's say you're 5000 behind in uh, real estate taxes. I don't know what it is, but if we can get in and bring that current, then I can get that payment down. Then if we can possibly cash flow it, but shit right now, brother, it's just an alligator. I'm no doubt it's eating. How many months are you behind right now? I'm not behind. I've made all the payments so far. Okay. Well, you don't want to keep paying three grand on the house where you're just getting, you're collecting what? 1,500 bucks? Yeah, around there. So you got 1,500 out for you too. You got to supplement the payment. Yep. Yeah. Um, you sound like a young man. Are you, you are you local? Are you staying? I mean, are you are you plan on staying here? Uh, no, not not for very long. Are you military or something? Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks for your service. Yep. I appreciate it, man. So, uh, at this time, I have to ask you whether you want us to keep looking at this, or are you gonna just pass? Uh, let me. I'm gonna see if I can <clears throat> figure something out with the mortgage payment. <clears throat> All right, well, we have ways to help you with that, too, so. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I got to see why the best girl went up when it did. Yeah, call them up. Sometimes it's actually, it won't even be on your mortgage statement. You might have to just call them and ask them. Okay. So who's your lender? Uh, right now it is M&T Bank. m and I never heard of them. Where, shit, where are they at? Where are they? Uh, so they they just took over the the mortgage. They weren't who I originally went with. Oh my lord! They sold your loan to somebody else. Yes. Oh boy. Welcome to real estate. Yeah. Welcome there. You're gonna grow up. How old are you? I'm twenty. Twenty-two. Yeah, you're gonna have to grow up real quick, brother. I'm sorry to say, man. This is the this this business is can be brutal. Okay. It can be brutal. You probably realizing that right now. So, damn, twenty-two young man. You know what? I applaud you. You took action, brother. I'm happy that you. Wow, what you doing buying a four unit? By the way, just trying to do something with my life. I ain't mad at you, dog. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. Texas, your family down there? Yep. Yeah, oh man. Look, brother, I don't mind taking a look at this for you. Even if I can't help you, man, you sound like you, damn, you, you what, a, a thousand miles away from home. Do you have somebody else looking at this for you? Uh, no, not yet. All right, let's do this, man. I don't, I don't need to, I, mean, I might buy it. I might not be able to help you, but at least get the mortgage statement. Okay. Call up the lender, ask them about, find out how much your escrow shortage is. And just okay. be be quiet, Joshua. Just let them tell you what's how much it is, because it might be three thousand, might be four. We don't even know. But um, if you don't, if you if you can snap me a picture of the mortgage statement so I can at least take a look at it, I am interested in a building. How, how are the neighbors, man? I know you got a lot of foot traffic over there. Uh, it's pretty quiet. I know they tore those buildings down across the street. Did they? Did they tear down the whole street or just a little bit? Or is it new? I don't remember them tearing anything down while I've been here. No, it's been a long time. Are they new? Is it new houses over there? New new construction on that street? There's new houses down the street. Yeah, that's where they tore them down before you got there. All right, so action plan. Reach out, extra shortage. Send me, take a picture of your mortgage, brother, so I can uh, take a look at it. And feel free to Google me, Joshua. You got my name. Oh, this is what I do for a living. Um, man, if I can help you get out of this. I know how it is having an alligator dog. You got to get out of this, man. I mean, you're just getting eaten alive, man. How How is the condition? Are they all livable? The one that the people moved out, is it livable? Uh, yes, everything works in there. Roof is good to go? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So I'll text you what I need, man, and then we'll talk. We'll catch up tomorrow. What, what's your work schedule? Uh, should be available after two. After two, that's right. Okay. All right, young man. Take a deep breath, man. We'll see if we can help you, okay? Okay. All right, brother. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Wow. Whew. That's something. So, you see, I tried to set up the subject, too. This is a soft sale. I don't need another property. This is a fourplex. So, 
This payment is three thousand. Let's see if we can put this one together, y'all. Let's see if we can put it together. So, um, wow. So make sure you stay tuned to see how this deal unfolds. It's a fourplex. I don't know if we'll get it. Maybe, maybe not. But I did my best. And he has to come. He has to come on, push a little bit, and do put forth some effort for us to get uh, get the loan information. He has to give me that loan information so I know exactly what we're dealing with. The only way we're gonna get this word out to uh, these creative real estate strategies is if you share this content. Just click that share button right below so we can get the word out for our community so people can buy real estate without using their credit. Like this content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Roundup Homies. Much love to you and your family. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.